Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see the map function in Python. So how can we use this map function and where we can use this map function. So this map function is mainly used to map the function and iterators, right? So for example, you can see if I want to take the multiple values, the space separated multiple values under same name. So I can go with a is equal to, so I will go with the input dot split and here we need to give the delimiter. If you are not giving any delimiter, we will get the, the space will be at, acting as a delimiter. So if you execute this one, it will, it will prompt for the inputs. So I can give multiple inputs in a same line separated with a comma. Okay. But if you observe, all the values will be stored in a in the form of list and every input will be in the form of a string. Right. So every input is in the form of a string. So we need to type convert it. We need to type convert it. So for this purpose, so we can use the map function to form a list of integers which are taking the input in a single line. Right. So if you want to take the input in a single line and if you want to store all the elements in the form of integers in a list, then we will go with the map function. Not only the integers, if you want to go with the float also, we can go with the map function. So let me explain it one. So a is equal to, okay, use the map function. So it will create an object, okay, it will create an object. So if you want to create a list, so you give the list inside the list, go with the map function and give the integer, okay, I just want to map each and every value of the iterable into an integer. And now I will go with the input function dot split. So here you can observe input dot split. It will read each and every input in string format, each and every input in string format. So that string format, that string will be converted into integer and that will be inserted into a list. Okay, I hope you understood. I will execute this one. So just I will take the same example. So 30, 40, 50. So execute this one. So all the elements will be stored in the form of a list in the under the variable name a. So if you go with a, so these are the integers. These are the integers. See, let me explain. a is equal to, I will show you the difference. Input dot split. Okay. If I take the, if I execute this one, it will prompt here. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I have to give the inputs with a space separated because here split we are giving some space. So if you want to separate with a comma here you need to give the comma. Okay. So I will execute this one. So there is no error. So all the values are stored in the form of a list under the name a. You can observe type of a of 0 which is nothing but a string. But I need them as a integer. So instead of type converting each and every string into integer, I can use this one. I can use this one. Okay, I can use this map function so that use the same for same uh, inputs, give the same inputs, say 20, 30, 40 and 50. So automatically A will be having some 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now you can use the type function, type of A of 0. So automatically it will give the integer. The type of A of 0 will be integer now. So the, the execution of this one means first it will read all the inputs, the space separated inputs in the form of a string and each string will be converted into integer because we are using the map function and the result that means the integer format will be stored in the list. So if you want to give a float, if you want to read the float values under a single line, just map into a float, float, execute. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on. So execute. So you can observe A will be holding the float variables, float values, right? Hope you understood this one, the map function. So if you want to convert the iterables into a required function, so here float and int are the type conversion functions. So in the type conversion function, we have seen these functions, int function, float function, the str function, right? So this is the function, float function. So whatever the input read from this input function will be converted into a float and it will be taking into a list. If you want to create a tuple, just go with the tuple. 
instead of list we can go with the tuple so that we can read the multiple elements under a single line space separated elements under a single line into a tuple so 10 20 30 40 50 so if you go with a it will be a tuple right if you want to read multiple elements in the form of a set then simply remove the list and go with the set so 10 20 30 40 50 so if you go with the a it will be a set okay like this we can map the iterables into the required data type okay so in most of the competitive programs we are supposed to take the input with the comma separated values under a single line so in such cases we can use this map function right so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this map function so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts so if you really really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you